contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from parts unknown, Maria. It's now time for the six-man tag team match that I think we've all been waiting for. Well, I can't speak for everybody, Michael, but I can tell you that I've looked forward to this one ever since it was announced. Now time for our huge six-man tag team match. And I can't think of any competitors I'd rather see go at it right now than these six superstars. This one's gonna be great. Making her way to the ring from Louisville, Kentucky, Jesse M. N. Duke. The Queen of Spades at NXT. Making her way to the ring from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. Just to give you some insight into how Shayna Baszler thinks, she says... This ought to be good. She prefers to break someone's mind before she breaks their body. She's the submission magician. Protégé of Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Shayna Baszler, so impressive, so dangerous. One of the most physical women in all of sports entertainment. Yeah, and she knows it, too. Pretty amazing. Shayna Baszler, the first of the MMA four horsewomen to win a title in WWE. Quite the accomplishment for Shayna Baszler. Look who's here. And her opponents. First, Paige, Sonia Deville, and Mandy Rose. Absolution. Be still, my beating heart. Mandy Rose, God's greatest creation, and the rest of Absolution are here. I have never seen you become so mesmerized by one person, Corey. I have never seen a person like Mandy Rose. Oh, what about Sonya Deville? Yeah, she's cool, too. MMA background, of course, Paige. Uh, youngest woman in history to win a championship. And in case you're unaware, this is her house. How'd you get in here, Saxton? I walked in the front door. And the two-time Divas champion, Paige, hears the bell and is on the move. Back 
the neck. She's not careful. Things can get out of control in a hurry. Uh, I think they're about to. There may be no preventing the... There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Nailed it. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match, breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. If you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. Look out! There she goes! Now back to the ring. And she turns it around on her. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams, like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. And Shayna Baszler evades that one. Harsh impact. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions, don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, The Shield, and The New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Double axe handle smash. She has some reason to be concerned here. 
and the confidence she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches in her. She might have it. I don't think this is going to do it. Whoa, impressive. You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. You gotta believe this one's over. Good golly, what a knee. Oh, oh. oh nasty impact. Boom! <laughs> This is where all it takes is one move and your opponent can gain the upper hand. That could be a game changer. And Sonya Deville says, not this time. She is on fire. Executed perfectly. Roundhouse kick. Are we gonna see the tag, Byron? Uh, oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Larian. She comes up big with the reversal. Beautiful technique. Takes her down. Wow. Nice move right there. Going for the ball oh, impact. Here's her chance. Shoulders down, this could be it. This battle's not over yet. I knew she could do it. Tagged in. Shayna Baszler is probably the biggest bully in all of WWE. She's tough. But her intimidation factor can defeat an opponent before the match even starts. Corey, how should a competitor approach Baszler? Everyone who's seen even a modest amount of... Look out! There's the tag! And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Oh, what impact! Here come hey, Are you kidding me? And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Corey may have hit the nail on the head about strategy concerning Shayna Baszler. To avoid being intimidated, you need to be a little insane because once you learn what the submission magician is capable of, fear is going to set in. That's easier said than done, Michael. If you're of the right mind, you're well aware that Baszler will deliver the pain unlike any other NXT performer. In that case, you need to embrace the power of denial. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Boom, what impact! I think she's trying to prove a point here. And Shayna Baszler evades that one. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, it doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. We have Mandy Rose competing here tonight. Let's talk strategy, Byron. Let me start with... Actually, I'll take this, Cole. There is no strategy when taking on Mandy Rose. She's God's greatest creation. You literally cannot compete with that. Case closed. Question over. Well, we had Corey giving his uh, unbiased strategy discussion concerning Mandy Rose before Byron. Do you have an answer now? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Mandy can be defeated. 
and you need to neutralize her absolution ally, Sonya Deville. Together, they can be tough to beat, but if you work on them one at a time, it's possible to earn a win. She dodges that one. If you ask a member of the WWE Universe about the four horsewomen, they'll likely refer to the quartet of Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. However, there's another group that lays claim to that moniker, and it includes Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Yeah, and both groups actually met face-to-face -face at the Mae Young Classic. Ronda... Mandy Rose is... You gotta believe this one's over. She's got... Here's the cover for the win! Three! What a six-man tag match. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here are your winners, Paige, Sonya Deville, and Mandy Rose. Absolution. What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match there toward the end. To get the pinfall victory over such a high quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match.